Hi guys, it's Joanne from 15 Spatulas. Today we are going to make a Thanksgiving appetizer, a beautiful butternut squash crostini. This is a great appetizer to serve because it's so simple to put together. It's only five ingredients and it's a really beautiful, vibrant bite to tide over your guests while you finish preparing the main meal. And if you're looking for any ideas for any part of the Thanksgiving meal, this video is a collaboration I did with a bunch of friends. We made you an entire progressive Thanksgiving playlist. So I'm gonna give you the links to watch those at the end of the video. So the first thing we need to do is prep our butternut squash. I'm just gonna cut off both ends. And once the ends are off, you just wanna cut through the length of the butternut squash. And then you're gonna take a melon baller and you're gonna scrape out the stringy stuff and the seeds that are in the middle here. You're gonna put the butternut squash halves on a sheet tray and just sprinkle the tops with some salt. And we're gonna bake this in a 400 degree oven for about 30 minutes until the squash is fork tender. My butternut squash is fork tender. So now I'm just scooping out the flesh and putting it in the bowl of a food processor. All right, I've scraped out all the flesh. So I'm going to add a half cup of water to start and a pinch of salt. And we're gonna puree this until it's smooth. So my butternut squash puree has a really nice, thick, spreadable texture to it. But if your butternut squash puree is a little bit too thick, you can certainly add a little bit more water to thin it out. So we are ready to assemble. We've got everything good to go. I've got some toasted baguette slices. I'm gonna take a spoonful of my butternut squash puree I'm gonna spread that on the piece of toast. Then I'm gonna take a spoonful of whole milk ricotta, add that on top. Then I'm gonna add a drizzle of balsamic glaze. Balsamic glaze is basically a reduction of balsamic vinegar. It's much less acidic and it's much thicker and sweeter than balsamic vinegar. It's a really great ingredient to have on hand. And then I'm gonna finish this off with some toasted chopped hazelnuts. Going for a taste. Mmm, wow. So many amazing textures and flavors going on here. And it's so easy to put together. So you can get the full instructions and ingredients in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed this video and I wish you a happy and delicious Thanksgiving. Don't forget to check out the other great videos in this playlist and I'll see you guys next time.